Hey everyone, it is Jeremy. Welcome back, and I thought that I would do a video with you just to show you a few things that I've picked up in the last couple of months. So I'm sure many of you don't really know this, but my birthday is January 22nd, so Christmas and birthday season kind of tie together for me. And at the end and the very beginning of the year, I tend to do a decent amount of shopping. So I was doing a video of a package I just received today, for a birthday gift and I realized the video was kind of boring and it was a little lacking so I decided to scrap it and let's just kind of do something that is shows my Christmas and birthday season haul and just make it like one thing instead of trying to make one super long video about a, each and every single bag so without for any further ado I'm just going to jump into this correct like I'm just going to give it to you um, three of these things, I'm not sure if I got these for Christmas or if I just bought them slightly before. I have a few things here, so I'm not really sure, and we're just gonna pretend like they are part of Christmas, I guess, because I'm not sure. Also, if you hear anything, my windows are open because it feels fabulous today in Dallas that it is 72 degrees and... Kind of 72 degrees that has a cool breeze that is like cleansing. So I'm opening up all the windows because I prefer fresh air. So here we go. The first thing that I got is this little charm and it is a double bag charm. And I got this from the Coach Outlet and it is from the Coach Men's line. I, long story short, messed around or ended up with two of them but i'm using them as christmas tree ornaments because you know i have a many bags on all of my christmas trees or one of my christmas trees so i hang these on there and i think that's really cool but it is a fully functional duffel bag and i just think it is so fabulous <laughs> like why not <laughs> and yeah i'll probably get some use out of these during the year also but i fully intended on putting them on the tree when i got them and this was the first thing <clears throat> this was christmas i also got this and i don't know if i got this at christmas or um, right before but it is a coach men's backpack charm and like the bag before it is a fully functional bag i'm Fairly certain I made a video about this already, but I'm not sure. Don't know if this was a Christmas haul or not. And both of those are really cool. I really love them. I have an affinity for small bags, miniature bags at that. Um, I don't know why. I just get really tickled by them. I think they're awesome. So I had to get both of them. And also, uh, this one was like 50 bucks, and this one was around the same thing, I believe. Don't pay full price. Catch them on a sale. You'll always catch them on a sale. Um, then Christmas still, right? So I got this. I don't remember if I got this at Christmas or slightly before, but it is the Coach Nolita with um, the Sherpa, and it has the signature CCs on it. This is the front, and this is the back, but the back is clearly more defined so i mean i guess carry it however you would like i assume i'm not the only one i consider the pockets on these to be on the side that should be against my body so but i mean i flip this one around just because i actually use the um strap from my coach beat 18 with the rivet so it's a riveted leather strap i use the top handle strap to that and i also use the chain detail on this and I get good wear out of it I like it it's not something that you're gonna carry every day but I mean it's a fun bag it's a novelty bag it's actually part of the uh, Jennifer Lopez coach collaboration and for whatever reason unless I'm mistaken it went directly to the outlet because I never saw it in the retail store but it was always on the outlet so then I got um, two more Christmas bags. 
trying to think if there was anything else I got at Christmas. Oh, at Christmas, I also got a, um, I went to Austin and I went to the San Marcos outlets and I got a Gucci card case and it's in a deep chocolate brown. I thought it was black, but I got home and realized that it was dark brown because they gave it to me in a box that was like, a factory box that had it wrapped in plastic and paper and everything and had never been touched by a person. So I didn't see, I didn't actually buy the one that I saw on display. And um, I was a little about it at first, but then I immediately realized that it was better because the one that I, I already have a black card case and I just got this Gucci one because I wanted a nicer card case when I'm not using my Louis Vuitton Rectoversal wallet. So, now I have a black one and I have a brown one and it actually worked itself out. I'll put a picture of it right here. And it was a card case that was like $400, like $385 or something. And I got it for um, one, less than $150. So, do with that what you want. Then I got this bag. And this is... Henry Bendel, which as you see, I love Henry Bendel. And this is a brand new, never used bag. And it is the 712 flat bag. And I'm sure that the camera and the flash are not gonna do this any justice. It is, um, this is giving Pepto-Bismol on the camera. What this really is, though, is like a bright fuchsia, and it is just in pristine condition. There's nothing wrong with this bag, and it's got the uh, it's got the flap in the front, and then it's got the pocket in the back. It is a really good bag. This is uh, the 712 shoulder bag. And as you see, it's, excuse me, as you see, it's got the chain strap and you can either wear it long crossbody or you can double it up and you can wear it um, on your shoulder. And the only thing I don't like about these bags is that this calfskin or lambskin leather is, I can't calfskin, this lambskin leather is very soft and so, like on this one, and has a little bit of indentation from the chain on the top. So you kind of have to be careful about how you store it. That's why I store it this way. But this bag, I mean, you'll have to, you'd have to meet me and see it in person to really, really, really get um, a full understanding of that color. It is just so beautiful and vibrant. I've never in my life wanted a pink purse. I've never thought I would carry a pink purse. But that one, I will absolutely figure out a way to make an outfit for, and I will wear it. Then I got that one. I got that one, and it was, ugh, I should have looked at the prices. It was like 120 or one. These bags were all relatively cheap. So my goal, what I was going to do, I was going to go to, well, not my goal, my, my plan, was I was going to go to Louis Vuitton, and I was going to buy a slim purse, which I will put a picture of right here. And I was going to get a card case. And I'll put a picture of it right here. But those two things together would have been about $1,000. <clears> All of these things was like half that. So, uh, seemed worth it to me to do this. So then I got this bag. This one I got for 70 something dollars because it's white and they don't like it. But, you know, I had to. It is the Henry Bendel flat bag, again, in white lambskin. This one has the silver or gunmetal hardware, whichever you prefer to call this. It's like a brushed silver or an aged silver. And it is the same exact bag as the one I showed you before. It is just different colors. And I am super excited about this one, and I will be wearing this one also. I had them for so long, and I was waiting for so long because I didn't want to even touch them before Christmas. That now I'm almost like 
still feeling like I'm supposed to be waiting and I can be carrying them now. So I got that. Both of those were awesome finds. I was very excited. I was very happy. And then uh, Christmas was over. Now it's my birthday time. So the first thing I got for my birthday was this. So I went to Dillard's and I was walking around and I was really just at the mall walking around because I wanted to kill some time because staying at home all day with the panorama and then also being an at-home spouse, I don't, I can't, if I get bored and I get tired of just being in this house, it's not like I can go work on something and kind of like clear my mind. I have to make conscious decisions to do things. So once you've walked the dog and you've, you know, scrubbed the toilets and you've cleaned and done some stuff around the house, what else are you going to do? So I got dressed and I went to the mall. So I'm walking around the mall. I'm having a great time. And I'm just looking, just looking. I told myself I wouldn't get anything. And I stumbled upon this bag. I have made a bit a video of this. I don't even remember if I posted it, but I stumbled upon this bag. Tell me it is not the cutest stinking bag, right? This is, um, I forget the name of it, but it is a coach. I will put the, actually, this is a, I can't see. This is a coach. Um, I'm gonna have to like edit a break in this. Yeah, I'll have to look later. This is a, a, a coach cute bag that I got for $122.50. So I posted on social media and I was like, should I get this bag? And because Thankfully, the people on my social media are honest. If I say, do you like this or should I get this? If it's ugly or if they don't like it, the person will say so. The people. So I was like, should I get this bag? It's so cute. I posted it. I walked away because it's it's a very soft leather. It's a, it, the exact same leather as the pillow tabby. And in fact, they have a, a pillow tabby in this color, purple. So... It's very soft and it's rainbow and it's not necessarily me, but also it's totally me. So I was like, should I get it? And then I decided I was going to, I was going to do the right thing and I was going to walk away from it. Everyone and their mom, including my mom is like, yeah, you should get it. You should get it. You should get it. Well, I hope you got it. I hope you got it. I hope you got it. And I was like, I left it. So my mom was like, you should call up there and see if they had it. And that could be your birthday present. And I was like, girl, are you for real? She was like, yes. So I call up there. They have it, but they told me that they wouldn't hold anything overnight. And I just didn't have the energy to go back to the mall for the second time that day. So I told myself if I wake up in the morning and I call and they have it, then I will get it. And if not, it just wasn't meant for me. What's mine is mine. I called up there. They have it. So I went and picked it. Pardon me. I went and picked it up. And it was my birthday gift to my mom. And I have yet to carry this bag because my birthday is actually this Saturday. And it is going to be the bag that I carry for my birthday. So I'm really excited about that. And I love a good find. And 122 for this bag is an awesome deal. After that, um, I kind of went to... I'm so sorry that this keeps moving around. It's following my face. And I'm not thinking about that. I went looking around at Dillard's the other day. And it just so happened that I gave my mom a Michael Kors um, bucket bag that I had because I used to carry it a lot. I just don't carry it that much anymore. And it's like in really good condition. And it's one of the only bags that I'm like, that bag is in such good condition. And it is so nice that I should either be carrying it or I should give it away because it's not just the, it's an everyday bag. I'm not saying she has to carry it every day, but it's an everyday bag and not like a whenever I want to carry it back. So I was at the mall. Um, I have a good friend that works at Dillard's. I don't even know her name. Um, she's just someone that works there and we see each other every week and she is really nice. And she was like, I have something I was hoping you'd come to, and I wanted to show you. She runs and she pulls this out and I took it and it is a coach jacquard bucket bag 
and it has a fist strap, and then it has this top handle. And this is another one that I got for one twenty two fifty. And I mean, it's a good, good bag, and it's a good color, and it will never really go out of style. And when it becomes, as it gets older and becomes more vintage and, or as it nears vintage and becomes vintage, it'll look really cool because I have another Jacquard piece. I have a whole set of pieces um, by Coach and the CCs look different. And it definitely takes you to a, an era when you see it. Um, if you're not interested in aging yourself or aging the bag, I wouldn't get them. I quite enjoy people knowing that my pieces are older. So I got this with a smile and I'm really happy about it. I've carried it. It's one of those bags where you can put everything you want and need into the bag and you're going to be fine. So I got this one and I was very happy. Um, yeah. And then my other bags, all of them are going to be Henry Bendel bags. So I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to put them right here so that we can make it easier and you don't have to have my camera going so crazy. <clears throat> so we're going to start, let's just start wherever. This one. <clears throat> you can tell what it is. Okay, so this one I saw because it was cute. I got it for really cheap. And also, I intend on using it in the summertime by the pool. And this is a, I have a thing for bucket bags right now. This is a striped Henry Bendel canvas bucket bag. And it has a strap like this built on. Non-detachable. I'm sorry, it's allergy season and I'm like trying so hard not to sneeze. And it is just a simple bucket bag. It's so crazy to me how they always smell the same on the inside, regardless of where they come from or like who owned it before. And so it is just a good bag. I will be putting sunblock champagne, uh, other festive items <laughs> in here, and I will be using it for that. And I am very excited. I love Henry Bendel. I love everything about Henry Bendel. Though I was late to the game, and I showed up at the 11th hour as a consumer and fan of the brand, I can definitely say that I have acquired quite the collection. So this um, has the Saffiano patch right here. It has the Saffiano bottom. And then it has the Saffiano trim and cord. Um, this one was really cheap. I can't remember how much it was, but it was like really cheap and I'm very appreciative of it. It's going to be a very good summer bag. I think that's gonna be fun. Moving on, I got this bag. This bag is a bag that I'm not even gonna hold you. I thought it was larger, and then once I got it, I kind of feel, feel like it's just worth it to keep and that I can make something out of it because I didn't wanna deal with the return process, and it really wasn't that much money, if I'm being honest with you. Um, and it is this bag. It is a red crossbody slash belt bag. I thought it was going to be a little bit larger, but because it's red and not black, it is. it looks bigger already. Inside it has one, two, three credit card slots. And then it has a back pocket right here. And then it also has the little envelope with all the things inside. Most of them do. Um, this bag is a good one for using like this. I can see myself wearing it like this. It's cute. Especially if you really want to let it kind of just like because it's got these two little sides right here, right? So it kind of just like hugs your body, hugs it hugs my rib. And I kind of think it's just really cute. So yeah, I'm totally see myself wearing it. And you could probably even just carry it over the shoulder. I've never really tried that, but I like that. I could also see carrying it as a 
um, what are they called, fanny pack, but I, I'm not really, how do you say it? The last thing I'm really trying to do is accentuate my waist and my, my waistline. So it's probably not something that I would do, but carrying it like this is something that I would do. Especially if I just need to do something quick and easy. Getting in and out of it is not too difficult. It doesn't necessarily eat my hair. Carrying it like this would be okay even. So, yeah. And this one was um, relatively cheap. It also has a pocket in the back. So, and again, this is the lambskin leather. It was like 50 or $60. So when I tell y'all cheap, I'm not like trying to be like some people on some videos of like, oh girl, no, it was a cheap bag. Okay, well, how much was it? It was $937. No, that's not me. I'm not about that life. I'm not detached from the reality of the value of a dollar. I recognize that like 50, 60 bucks is still not, nothing right but 50 60 bucks for a bag that's cool two three four five hundred dollars for a bag that's not just like fun money right so moving on <clears throat> then i got this bag i'm like trying to remember what's what i'll do this one first then i got this bag this is the one that came in the mail today I was in the process of making a video of it, and then I realized that the video that I was making just was kind of dry. And so I wanted to do something different, and I decided that I would just do a, a holiday haul video. And this bag is the 712 camera bag. Now, I already own this bag. It is, um, I own this bag with the black and the gunmetal or like aged silver hardware, and I absolutely love it. It is so casual, yet it kind of elevates your outfit. It's not too feminine. It's not too masculine. It's like I the the other one that I have with the silverish hardware. It is just like the perfect bag for me. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not too formal. It's not too edgy or too young. It's just perfect. And I saw this one online, and the price was just so good that I. I had to make an offer and I did it a long time ago too. And it just now barely shipped and let me know that I actually gotten it. And so, um, it's just a good bag. It's got a front compartment, a back compartment, a back pocket, and it is just a great bag. Um, I just love it. I don't really have anything else that I can say about it. It is really nice. They call it um, the, the camera bag, the Henry Bendel 712 camera bag, 712 camera bag. It also has kind of like a, a lunchbox, uh, like a, a lunch pail vibe almost or something. Because I can't imagine getting a camera to fit in there, so I don't know why they call it a camera bag. But it is a great bag. And actually, while we're here talking, I'm just going to do this like I've done my other one. Because I have noticed that with these um, 712, all of the 712 lambskin bags, it's you can get um, impressions on the leather if you don't care for the bags properly. So I always like to do it like this so that it is looks like it doesn't have a chain when I put it away. And then I put it in the dust covers and then I put them up. And this one, I, I, I super lowballed the person when I made the offer <clears throat> and I didn't expect, expect them to accept, but they did. And so I got it. And again, I'm very thankful. I'll have these camera bags for the rest of my life. And there have been times when the color of the hardware on a bag has definitely determined whether or not I was going to carry a bag in the moment. So having bags that are the same exact identical bags with different color hardware might seem a little trivial to some people. But to me, I think that it makes it so that the bags are more versatile in where and when I choose to use them. And then we get to the last bag. The last two bags are my favorite bags. This 
is the 712. I don't know what the style is, but it is part of the 712 line. And it is a good bag. And it has this flap right here. It looks like this is comes all the way up, but it doesn't. It's connected right here. So you pop it open. Oh, I just love this bag. And again, all of these bags smell identical, which is weird to me because they all come from, I'm talking, very different parts of the country. So I don't understand how that works. But this one has the same, um, it has a chain that you can double up or you can do crossbody. However, this one has a more Chanel style chain. And I say that in the sense that it is the chain with the braided leather in throughout. And it is in the really nice lambskin and has the HB Henry Bendel. I wish you could touch this bag. It's so buttery soft. It feels like the coach, uh, the pillow tabbies, but like even softer. All the Henry Bindle bags always have the brown and white striped bow on the inside and they're satin lined. And yeah, you can fit a whole bunch of things in this bag. I love this bag. I'm very, very thankful that I found this bag. I had never seen this bag before when it was when the store was in um, business and I had never seen this style of bag after they were out of business so I was very very intrigued by it and I was kind of worried that it was not going to live up to what I was fantasizing about it being but it turns out that this bag is everything I was expecting it to be and more so I'm very 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 thankful um, some other things that I got were some, I buy direct, some, not sunglasses, reading glasses or like just glasses for living. And, um, I also got a joystick for my Nintendo NES. That's about it. Oh, and I got some stuff from Lush Cosmetics. What else did I get? That's it. I can't remember anything else. If there's anything else that I got, I don't know. Um, we're going to have like a family gathering. So we'll be doing gifts and uh, stuff like that. And maybe I'll get some other stuff then. But that's what I have so far. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm just so excited. I'm so thankful. I can't believe that I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got nine bags between Christmas and my birthday. But I mean, look, so many of them are bags that you can no longer get. So I'm going to say that to justify it. And before my, here's what I'm talking about. I'm going to go because now I'm realizing that I've done a lot. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate you coming here and celebrating with me. And I know that. I can just hear you screaming. I can hear you hollering and screaming happy birthday at me. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. As much as I would appreciate you to drop some money in my cash app, to buy me a purse, take me out to buy champagne to drink, to have uh, brunch, and to, you know, take me to get my nails done. I can also live with you just simply being kind and polite to one another and to strangers because I cannot put enough emphasis on this as much as i love gifts and i love material things i am blessed to be able to get those things for myself and i love receiving those things from other people trust me i do but what i would really 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 love and what i truly believe in some ways costs less and other ways cost more is just to be kind to one another because Yeah, your kindness is really the ultimate gift that you can give someone. I don't know how else to say it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I have business to take care of. I have to earn my keep to pay off these bags. Bye, girl.